Cancer, welcome to today's tarot reading with the tarot room. Let's talk about who's coming towards you in love today, Cancer. Let's see what you can expect next. Look at this photograph. We're in a Nickelback song, but looking at your photos, missing you. Nostalgia, making new memories. So it looks like there might be somebody from your past coming back here, wanting to rekindle the chemistry with you here, Cancer. Let's talk about it. Let's see who it is and if you want to hear from them or not. Let's see what's next in love and who's coming towards you. While well, they're creeping here like a cat. <laughs> they have been like kind of hiding strategically, uh, taking action here. And Cancer, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal reading. If you would like one of those, the link is in the description box below. We have the Fool. We have the Four of Wands. Yeah, we got Leo energy here. We have Aries energy. We have Soulmate Twin Flame energy with that Four of Wands. We got the Six of Swords. They be getting in their plane, train, automobile. They be popping up on you. All right, there's a Nine of Wands. You might be guarded here, Cancer. Oh, there's your last card. There's the Four of Pentacles. All right. There's, oh, but you definitely want to hear from the, oh, you'd be spying on them too, maybe, maybe, maybe. There's a two of wands. So I do feel like maybe you've been kind of looking at them as well, checking up on them on social media, maybe looking at old photos, old memories, reminiscing energy very strong in this reading. But I do feel you want to hear from this person. They're having the strength and the courage to come forward. How's Cancer You're going to know exactly who this is? It's coming towards them. Could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Could be someone who's younger. There's the fool. There's the ending. There's the Cancer. Scorpio energy, Aries energy again, two of swords, and the wheel of fortune, the hermit, you're definitely, it's not, okay, you were, were in a long-term relationship with this person, um, I feel you blocked this person, I don't think you're talking to them, maybe you didn't block them, um, but maybe there's just a block in communication, some of you, maybe you did block them, but this is someone where there was 100% an ending, you are absolutely in a long-term relationship, so it's not someone who you just went on a couple dates with, maybe they ghosted you, that this wouldn't be your reading. This is somebody that, or I mean, it, it could be, but it's not that person. <laughs> it's someone that you were in a long-term relationship with. They definitely want a fresh start with you. All right. So they're coming to talk to you. They want a fresh start. They think that you're their soulmate, twin flame, soul contract energy. What are they coming to say to cancer? What does cancer need to know about this conversation coming through? What are they coming to say to cancer? King of Cups. Ooh, their feelings run deep. Wow. Ten of Cups. They want to do right by you. They want to marry you. If you're not already married, if you were not married to this person, they definitely want to be married. And if you were married, they want to honor this marriage. They want to stand by their vows. Um, they're fa they love you. <laughs> it's just that simple. They love you. Uh, they're happiest when they're with you. They want a home. They want a family. Could have a family and home already. And if they that's the case, they want to come home to you, baby. And if not, they want to build a home, build a family, build a life with you. You are their home, Cancer, all right? That's what's up. And they want to move forward with you. Now, let's get into this Nine of Wands energy. What's up? The Nine of Wands. Is that Kansa? Let's see. I think it is Cancer. I think it might be. What is this Nine of Wands energy for Cancer? Emperor. Hmm. You're... you're there's judgment. He wants an apology. There's the King of Pentacles. There's the Knight of Wands. There's the Star. There is a back and forth energy. You definitely want an apology. And if an apology does come in, Cancer, this is sincere. So for me as a reader, judgment is my sincere apology card. You want to move forward with this, but there's a little bit of a critical energy. Have they changed? Are they the same? Are they going to compromise? Is it going to be the same old thing? Are things going to move forward? Is there going to be reliability? Is this something where it'll change for a week and then a month later it's just back to the old same old shit again? So you do have some judgment, some criticism, some uncertainty, some questions here. And your wall's up. So you're not just doing the Irish jig here, giving him a big kiss, taking off that chastity belt, having a good time. There's some things that need to be worked through, some kinks that need to be uh, unkinked. Um, and you're a little bit cynical as to whether they've changed and whether this could work. Um, but with the four pentacles, I do feel like you're going with it. But you're not, you're definitely holding back. It's like, let's say you were married. They're not like sharing your bed, moving in with you, <laughs> but you're talking. Uh, you're giving them a chance. You're going to see where this goes. You're going to see what happens here, um, but you're still holding back. So there's still some, let's see if they've changed. Let's see what happens. Let's go with this. So what are their intentions? Have they changed? Will it be the same old thing? What do you want to say about that there to Cancer? The Fool in Reverse. The emperor in reverse. 
the moon the three of cups there's the conflict is anger or reactionary energy part of the issue here I do feel it is. So I feel you might have someone that's really harsh with their words or someone who gets mad or they're quick to anger, they're quick to temper and um, they act out of character. So I think you have someone who's bad temper, <laughs> someone who's a lot of anger or someone who when they get mad, they lash out, they push you away, they project it onto you. There's an issue with anger here. Um, and with the moon and that four of swords, I feel an effort, but I don't feel it being solved. So maybe they need like anger management or better self-discipline. Uh, you'd be foolish here to think that they fully changed. So you're right to be cynical and question this, but there is effort here. So you do have a choice to make. They're trying, but it's kind of like that energy of they'll still come home from work mad one day and take it out on you. And you need to decide if that's even what you want or do you want to walk away? You got to be really honest with yourself. So they haven't changed cancer. It'd be silly to think they have, but they are trying. And that's what you're going to have to decide is do you see change? Okay. All right, that's what's coming towards you and love, baby. So let's grab some oracles, see what they want to say to help you with your choice here. And uh, we'll get some, well, then we'll get back to the tarot. <laughs> okay, what's the spirit animal message? There we go. Scorpion, new beginnings. You are invited to instigate change, but you're also being warned that this transformation could be radical. Get rid of everything in your current life that can prevent you from improving. Based on this principle, destroy before rebuilding, you are promised a beneficial rebirth okay and what does kansa need to surrender to when it comes to this person this situation this connection this relationship this cancer fear let go of the fearful stories that you are telling yourself stay in the moment focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward and let's get the caring connection cancer between you and this person that's coming through here what's the caring connection between these two Oh, attraction. So a divine soul counterpart, attraction transcends superficiality. Say that 10 times fast. Nice little tongue twister there, eh? <laughs> All right, maybe you guys will be playing some twister. All right, uh, what's the hidden truth? Now, if they could say something that they're not saying, they want to say they should, maybe they shouldn't. They wish things could be different. Mm -hmm. Just being near you is intoxicating. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you're happy without me. And here it is. I hid who I really am for you. There's that moon energy, the things that they didn't say. All right, well, Cancer, let's just get back to it. Let's get right down to business. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make here, Cancer. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month? What do you choose to do? How do things go? Do you, let's just find out. Are you guys happy? Are you, have you removed them from your life? Were there any hiccups? Let's find out, shall we? What do we got here? We got anger, resentment, frustration, and then we got the page of pentacles. These are going in different. This guy's going over here. This guy's going over here. All right. We have the king of cups. We have three court cards to start your reading here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, there's the four of cups. You're out. Hey, you don't know what to do. Well, you don't know what to do, Cancer. There's the star. I see some change, but you, there's still some anger here. There's still some issues with control, self-discipline, um, pushing, projecting, whatever the issue is between you and them here. It, it, there's still, it's there. It's not gone. So, you know, the Page of Pentacles and the King of Cups is somebody who recognizes it, though. They acknowledge it. Um, when they get mad, maybe they'll apologize. Um, maybe they'll try and step out of the room. Or that's what I feel. <laughs> and you're deciding... If, you're deciding how patient you want to be. I feel, I see, I see improvement, but I still see some anger. I still see it coming through again, or lack of discipline or whatever the issue is, but you, you, I'm going to say you love this person, cancer. You're, you see them as a soul bond, soul contract, soul mate, but you still just don't know. So you, yeah, I don't really see a lot of change in the energy. I see you overthinking this, thinking a lot about this, being up at night, stressing about this. Can you heal this connection? Can they do right by you? There is a really strong compatible element. And there's the, but you'll have to, so you'd have to let go of the fear and the past in order to move forward. So, you know, it's going to take time for this person to change these habits, to change the way that they deal with their anger and their frustrations, or, you know, if they come home from work in a bad day, it's going to take time for them to alter that habit, right? The question is, how patient do you want to be? I do feel there's a lot of potential if you want to be patient, but if you're, I think you're running out of patience and you're wondering how patient should you be? And that's going to be up to you. And I see that's where you are trying to figure it out. I see you in a good place. I see them showing you respect. 
but that anger and that issue is still here, Cancer. But there is a very strong element of compatibility between you and this person. And I understand and I see why you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. They're putting the effort in. Um, it just depends as to how patient you want to be as they go through their, uh, you know, counseling, therapy, man management, whatever it is, their ability to better control themselves. <laughs> um, so that's what I have. That's what's coming towards you. That's what I got. That's what's going on. So I don't really see a lot of changed energy here. I see you just deciding, but there is improvement. Um, so there's progress. So Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I do hope it benefited you. If you like my style, if you resonate, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support, Cancer. And let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no. What's the answer for Cancer? Yes, that's what's up. Cancer, I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.